A man who bought a new house from one of the biggest developers in the UK is taking them to court for compensation because he says the sales team never told him that the house was leasehold. Terry Dodd paid Morris Holmes more than £300,000 for a house in Sorgal in Chester in 2015. There was a £300 a year um, ground rent to pay on it, but those charges were set to double every 10 years. Escalating charges like that can make homes really hard to sell on. I spoke to Terry Dodd this morning and he told me about the house. It was supposed to be my retirement home. It was new. I didn't have to spend any money on it. And pretty. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. How did you find out then that this house that you were buying was in fact leasehold with a ground rent to pay rather than freehold? I found out the day before from my solicitor, we moved on the 4th of September and on the 3rd of September she told me it was a leasehold, which didn't please me very much. Why didn't you pull out? The people who were purchasing my bungalow had moved the furniture and them from Singapore and were moving in the same day as we moved out. And I, I was, I mean, my wife wanted to, to buy it. She didn't understand the legalities and what have you. So I, I felt... I had no alternative but to proceed. Now, had the fact that it was leasehold been mentioned to you, apart from that late in the day call from your solicitor, had no. it been mentioned at any other stage? Absolutely not. You're sure of that? Absolutely positive, not sure. Now, the builders say that they always give people the opportunity to buy the freehold at the point of sale. Did that happen? No. Did you try and buy the freehold? No, I'd made the inquiry, but no, I didn't decide. I decided to put the house on the market instead. From the Data Protection Subjects Access request I, I made, it came to be, and from the land registry, that I was the last one in the estate, and I signed the leasehold on the 23rd of September, a month after I'd moved in. Then shortly after that, I think it was about six weeks after that, they sold it on. And I mean, the other thing is that they've sold it for a, a huge amount of money. Why would they want to sell it to us? Terry, at the point when you asked to buy the freehold from the company that had bought it, what would it then have cost you? I, I'm not absolutely certain, but it was about £11,000. So why didn't you go ahead and buy it? Well, I didn't want to give somebody £11,000 for nothing. You thought it was, it was just... unfair? Well, my case is going to come down to one, two documents. They either told me it was leasehold at reservation when they're supposed to do, or they didn't. That is my case, and I say they didn't. The government's promising to reform leaseholds, and there has been a press release where there was a promise to set future ground rents to zero. Tell me what you're hoping to achieve by taking them to court. I want Morris Holmes to give us the freehold back and recompensate for the loss of the devaluation that this has caused. So yeah. I suppose you're trying to strike a blow then for everybody who's bought houses in the same circumstances as you? My neighbours. I've, I've watched misery. And it, it, the, the, the leasehold problem has been, the, all what we're discussing in Winifred has been stopped by the government. They won't let them do this anymore. They can't do this anymore. Morris Holmes, I believe, are defending a case that is indefensible because it's been stopped. I'm not here for 50 grand or 100 grand. I'm, I came into this earth with nothing and I'll go out with nothing. I do not like being had over and I believe I've been had over. And I'm going to the judge and if I, if I, you know, if I lose, I'll go in for a pint with the lads, but I don't think I'll lose. I've got a good case, Winifred. I've got a good case to at least stop it. Terry Dodd. Well, Morris Holmes, as he said, are defending his claim. They told us that these types of leasehold are extremely common. The terms of them are very conservative and purchasers are always offered the opportunity to purchase the freehold at the point of sale. They said that Terry was advised by his own independent solicitors who fully reviewed and accepted the terms of the sale. They also said that they had had no similar complaints about that development. But we have spoken to a neighbour of Terry's who told us that he has also complained.